The TV I just got done repairing is an Emerson. There's a model number. I noticed I had another TV in here that was a Magnavox with a different model number. And it also said Funai on it. And it seemed to be a almost identical power supply board. So I'm guessing they're interchangeable. Somebody else said this TV has also got the name Sylvania on it. But the one I repaired had this model number up here. Anyway, this TV came in here dead and it had a whole bunch of components that had gone bad on it. In fact, there's a lot of info online. If you just Google the model number here, you'll find uh, lots of repair info on this TV at, uh, I think it was called Bad Capacitor Forum or something like that. So, had to replace a couple resistors here, 2.2 ohm, 5 watts. Uh, we got a resistor, that's a 0.18 ohm. D640, this is the diode that I'm convinced caused all the problems, and I'll explain why. Um, what happens a lot of times, you'll have one component that will go bad, and it will cause a whole slew of other components to go bad. Now, in a previous video, I talked about how a lot of the power supplies have safety functions that if they sense a, a short, they're shut down so you don't damage any further components, like the switching transistor. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky on this one. Now, this isn't the original schematic here, but I just thought I'd talk a little bit about what happens when a component goes bad. Here we're looking at a, uh, a hand-drawn schematic of a power supply, and this would be your secondary side here. Well, if you've got a diode that goes bad on the secondary side, and you don't have a safety circuit to cause the, the unit to shut down before damaging your transistor or other components, you might end up having to replace a whole lot of parts, as I did here. And what I was going to say, if you see a TV that's got a history of a certain diode going out repeatedly and it's on the secondary side or what many call the cold side it's it's really a good idea to upgrade to a better diode than the original. Now what surprised me I noticed there were people selling repair kits for this particular power supply and they're replacing D640 with the same 2 amp Schottky diode as the original and that doesn't make any sense to me at all knowing that it's on the secondary side and it's chances are that it's the whole cause of all the other components going bad it, it makes sense to upgrade to a better diode and if you don't know how to do that you can often talk to the engineer at, at your parts supplier they can often guide you there and but usually you look for the uh, peak reverse voltage make sure that's the equivalent or better uh, peak inverse voltage is the same thing and sometimes they use VR which is also reverse voltage maximum forward current uh, also you want to look at what kind of diode it is for example this is a Schottky diode it's very important that you replace the original diode with the same type of diode and uh, and it's got to be something that can handle the, the switching speed I remember when I first started working in another TV repair shop I went ahead and replaced the diode and it started running real hot and the boss the boss saw my mistake and he let me do it just so I'd learn and I put in a uh, I put in a standard diode where I think it called for a fast switching diode and it didn't take long and th that thing would have uh, blown up anyway like I said if you don't know how to find a stronger diode this one I replaced it with is a 5 amp diode this the original was a 2 amp diode so the customer is getting a better a better diode than he came in with. Anyway, um, what I did, since it was a surface mounted diode to begin with, I just drilled a couple holes through the top and I installed it from the top. There wasn't really room on the bottom to install a diode this size, so... Anyway, that's all I want to say. Just thought I'd make a quick video and talk about that. If you see a, a model that's got a history of a part that goes bad all the time, you might want to upgrade. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.